Okay, so you want a simple and effective system to help you manage your virtual assistant. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a simple system I use in Trello. Okay, so here we are in Trello and you can see I've got a, a number of lists laid out here. And what I'll do, I'll quickly whiz through them and then we can deep dive into each one of them. So I've got backlog here. Then I've got ongoing daily stroke weekly rolling tasks. I've got upcoming, I've got doing, I've got urgent, need manager assistance and done. So I mean, they're quite self-explanatory, but you can see, so we've got the lists running across the top of the page, right the way across the page there. And then in each list, we've got these cards. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much depth about what exactly Trello is, but in this particular one, I just wanna talk about the actual system that's set up here. So backlog, that's the first list. And all this is, is more or less a brain dump. It's a dump of everything that needs to get done, everything that's coming up, any potential tasks, any thoughts I may have throughout the week or just, just in general, I'll put them here in backlog and these when i say thoughts tasks jobs etc these are ones that i intend to delegate to my va so i've got another trello board which is specifically for me um, and that's where i'd have a similar system but that's that sort of jobs i'm working on where these jobs are things that i know i'm going to eventually or potentially delegate to my va so we've got the backlog so you can see there's a number of tasks there and i'll just add to this on a weekly sometimes daily basis. And then from the backlog, what I then done was populated this ongoing weekly, uh, daily weekly rolling task list here. And again, very self-explanatory. These are the tasks that the VA will work through on a weekly daily basis. Now, the reason these don't go in these lists here is because it doesn't really make sense moving them back and forth through the lists. So they just stay here so the VA knows, okay, on a weekly, daily basis, there's sort of a, a reminder of the tasks that they have to do on a weekly, daily basis. Upcoming. So with the upcoming tasks, what I do is throughout the week, let's say we get into the back end of the week, you know, it's uh, it's Thursday, Friday. What I'll do is to start to, start to think about the week coming or the week ahead. And I will pull out some tasks from this backlog that I want to consider working on in the coming week and I'll put them in upcoming here so literally just drag them from here and drop them over into upcoming and on the Monday morning me and my virtual assistant will have a, a Skype conversation and discuss the upcoming tasks so you know she she can see the board I can see the board she can see when I drag things back and forth I can see when she drags things back and forth from either list but like I said on a Monday morning we'll we'll jump on Skype and have a conversation about the upcoming tasks and again you know we can share notes in each of these um, cards you can click into it and share comments etc and then once we've decided what we're working on for that week once the virtual assistant makes a decision okay I'm working on these specific tasks she'll drop those in in the doing list here so at any given time I should be able to jump into Trello and see what she's working on currently which helps me to kind of manage manage the tasks manage the, the, the progress of the tasks and just you know keep an eye on what's going on and what she's working on now in the urgent list I mean there's nothing in there at the moment however this list is here let's say at any given time a task comes up and I just need it doing sort of more or less immediately, I will drop a card straight in there. I'll just drop something in there straight away. And then I'll also at mention the virtual assistant so she can see that a card has been added in there. Um, and the idea is, is that at any given time, if a task does appear in urgent, at the virtual assistant's soonest availability, she'll drop whatever she's working on and pick up this this urgent task so again you know something comes up and i need an email sending or i need something responded to pretty quickly i'll drop it in urgent and then what i might even do is jump in slack and send a message to the va to say can you just check the urgent um, list i've got something i need you to work on any questions let me know so that's that's the urgent one and then as we move down the list you'll see again another list here 
need manager assistance. Now, the idea with this list is, let's say there's a task that my virtual assistant is working on at any given time and she just gets a bit stuck. What she will do is drag it over here into need manager assistance. And she would basically write me a message to say, you know, not really sure about what this is here. Um, can you give me a bit more information? And the discussion we've had is that everything that she would need answering, she needs to post it in that card, in that comment. If there's, you know, a document that she's referring to, put a link to the document in the card so I haven't got to fish around and look around anywhere else to find it. So that's need manager assistance. And again, once that's done, I'll drag that back over into, into doing. And then lastly, we've got the done list. Now, rather than just delete the tasks once they're finished, I like to keep a track here of what's been completed. And I mean, there's a few reasons for that. One of them is so, you know, if that task ever needs to be done again, rather than recreate the card, we can just drag it straight back over to backlog um, or into upcoming. And also it's just to, in our update meeting, on a Monday morning, we can look to see what was completed last week. And again, you know, I can give praise, give direction, um, you know, high fives all around for for the work done. And it just helps us to sort of monitor how we're doing in terms of, of making progress. So that's why we've got the, the done list. So that really is, is it. So, you know, we start here, we backlog, just dump everything down into backlog. And then, you know, we kind of move through the progress. So like I said, upcoming, doing, the urgent lists there, need manager assistance. And this one is really, really key, you know, rather than the VA feeling stuck and feeling like, oh no, I've got to email Tony or send him a message in Slack or whatever. She can just drop it in here, write what she needs to write, ask any questions, shoot me a message, and then just get on with something else. And then I can respond to this um, in due time. So that's it. Very simple system, but very, very effective. So I encourage you, you know, if you're not using Slack at the moment for your project management, it's definitely worth looking into. It's a free tool. When I first saw it, I thought, what's the big deal? It looks so simple where now I'm actually, I mean, it's a tool I use every single day, day in, day out, um, all the time. So it's definitely worth checking out. So hopefully you found that useful. I'd love to hear some feedback, any comments about how you use Trello or how you're finding using Trello or any issues you've got with using Trello or any questions. And I'll be bringing out another video shortly about other tools that I use to remain productive, to reduce my workload and to just all round systemize my business. If you haven't already done so, come and visit me over at TonyLBrown.com. All the best, God bless and take care.